somebody gonna match my break? Is somebody gonna match my nest? I guess I'm in love, I'm an athlete. Is somebody gonna match my break? Be somebody with a good technique. Is somebody gonna match my nest? Well, I'm talking to my throat basket. If you keep up with me, I'll keep on coming back. If you do it to the eye, I'm gonna get attached. Cause it feels I realize that I'm always looking forward to the next, the next career move, checking off the next thing on my to-do list, hell, even writing a new to-do list. I'm always in the next. And what I found is that when I take the time to be present in the now, right now, today, this moment, I am so much more happier. Ah, oh, the joy that I receive when I just stop and think about my present day, my life, where I've been, where I come from, where I am. It's just so much beauty in that. And um, I realized that I really am just a girl already living her dream life. I have love, I have my family, I have my health. I have everything that I need, that I even want. And I realized that if I don't practice, if I don't practice being present every day, that I'll miss, I'll miss out on so many beautiful moments. Worrying about the next versus just allowing life to unfold the way that it's supposed to unfold. And I think the thing with that is like, you feeling like you have full control of your life. And for the most part, right? You do, you are. But if you believe in anything bigger or greater than yourself, then you realize, baby, you're just, you're just the main character. <laughs> you're just the main character. You're not directing anything. It's God that has the pen. And when you just surrender and allow him to do his thing, Oh my goodness. <laughs> the beauty that just comes from that. I, my heart is like just filled with so much gratitude. And um, I'm just I'm just so grateful. And I realized one of the things I wanted to start doing more of is journaling. And I used to journal a lot when I was a kid. I used to oh, write a novel. Okay. More specifically though when um, someone pissed me off. I'm really angry I could write a whole novel <laughs> and it would not be pleasant but I think there's something really beautiful about journaling the good moments too you know like documenting your happy times just as much as your frustrating times and looking back a year from that date a few months from that date and just saying wow just to be able to witness the growth um, I think there's something so beautiful in that. And I love when I come across women who are active, consistent journalists because it just inspire me. But this is also helping too, just being able to talk out my thoughts, which I do all the time, but I guess now I'm just recording them. I don't know, but it works. And I'm happy with that too. Um, the reason why I started practicing being more present is because I was overwhelmed with my goal list, my dream list. And I think it's great to dream and have goals and set goals for yourself and really push yourself to accomplish those goals. But sometimes it can get overwhelming, especially when you feel like it's not happening or it's not happening at the pace that you would want it to happen. Um, and you start to doubt yourself 
and you start well at least for my for me I started procrastinating a lot and I realized that procrastination was led by fear the fear of just blank enough (laughs) you know how we do that you know well am I good enough can I really do that can I reach that goal like those doubts start to creep up on you you really become super overwhelmed and you know even discouraged and I just can't have that for myself in my life especially when I know that oh I am one of God's favorite I realized that I just I needed a shift I needed to change the way that I was thinking I needed to change my perspective um and I need to see things for what they really are. And when I realized that and when I started practicing that, I just literally cried the river because I'm like, wow, what are you really complaining about? Or um, feel like you're still missing something. You're still missing out on something or you don't have enough or something when you actually have everything that you you ever could need. So that realization has really helped me and I just, I've been loving uh, practicing being in this space of just gratitude and um, releasing the spirit of procrastination and doubt and fear and all of the things that do not serve me. It's been a journey. Every day it's a journey, but it's a journey that I'm committed to. And it's a journey that I'm happy to be committed to. So, yeah, that's just one of the things that uh, has been on my heart and my mind lately. And um, I just I just wanted to share that with you because I feel like we're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of being so consumed in the next. So... You know, if you feel like you are anything like myself, just breathe, girl. You know, just take a deep breath. And just let go. I'll call this season that I'm in my preparation season I mentioned this to you all before Um, when you find yourself in a position where you're wanting something so bad whatever it is and you can you can taste it you can see it you can about damn near feel it touch it And it's it's so close, but it just hasn't happened yet for you. Know that you are in your preparation season for that very thing that you're wishing and you're aiming for. God is not going to give you anything that you're not prepared for. And you shouldn't want it either. You shouldn't want it. Be present in this preparation season. Because when it happens for you, you need to be ready to maximize on that time. You need to be ready to go full throttle, okay? That is not the time for you to kick back and put your feet up, baby. You need to be ready to go harder than you ever went in your life when that time comes. When God gives you the very thing you are dreaming of, you are praying for every day, whether it's marriage, family, kids, money, health, I don't know. But you know. You do know. When you get that very thing, baby, maximize on that time, maximize on that moment and go even harder. And don't forget to express your gratitude along the way. You have to be present. And I think that's the very thing that like that helps. You have to be ready. You have to be present. To help. But let me tell you something that I realized, too, about myself. And it's really, 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 really hard. Um, I find to be honest with yourself. Because none of us want to feel like, 
you don't want to you don't want to admit anything negative about yourself or anything that's just not in a pretty light right so what i realize is whenever i consume too much of anything whenever i consume too much you start to compare and nine times out of ten that's the reason why you feel like your life is not good enough you know what i mean and i feel like that's what i'm always preaching about taking a break putting your phone on dnd finding other hobbies to immerse yourself in y'all when I tell you I have so many hobbies on my list that I want to do as an adult, like I want to take a swim class, a piano class, like just so many things, a, a music class, um, just to occupy my time in a real way that I can enjoy and I cannot be so immersed and consumed in other people's lives, which is so funny because I'm obviously creating content. And I obviously want to build a community of people who are, I guess, in some way immersed in my life. Um, but I also just want to share real authentic moments and experiences. And yeah, anywho, I'm getting off track. But the point that I'm trying to make is whenever you over consume and you find yourself starting to compare and analyze and feel less than what you know you're worth cut it off cut it off give yourself a break emerge yourself in an activity that you've always wanted to do start something new or something that you used to do what do y'all know that I just recently well I wouldn't say too recent but found out that my mother enjoys coloring what but not like actual physical like a color book and crayons because I've purchased her that before she still has not used it but more so like on her phone like in her free time she'll sit back and she'll just color and she it just it just takes her mind to another place of just relaxation and being present in the current moment the, and it, the, the beauty in that is mind-blowing to me you know because it's something that's so simple but it really centers you and so, you know, I just wanted to share that um, where I am right now. And like I said, I'm going to continue to share where I am and um, hope that hope that it inspires you to do the very thing that sets your soul on fire as well. So, yeah, I'm really excited about where life is taking me at this moment and um I hope you are excited about your journey too. Hey!